top three ways to build wealth and real estate over time, part two. And I touched on this in part one, and that is appreciation. Ask your grandma or your grandfather or somebody who's been around for at least 30 years what they paid for their home 20 or even 30 years ago. I am sure your mouth will drop. We are talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of appreciation. And even if you were to invest in the stock market, ups and downs, depending on when you're getting in and when you're getting out, real estate is that one thing that appreciates over time and is a hedge against inflation, which we're going to touch on too. Even if you are going to keep $100,000 in your bank account, in your savings, if you're not making at least 3% in interest over time, by the end of the year, even your money depreciates. So if you compare that with the average appreciation of real estate in the Orlando area being close to 9%, if we look over 10, 20, 30 years, and even if anywhere else in the part of whatever part of the country that you're looking in, the standard appreciation is 5%, you can see that real estate is that wonderful way to make money over time. 